All praises to the Most High. Hi, beautiful people. Hope you're doing blessed. Um, so today the lesson is honor. God wants me to talk about going about honor the right way and how honor comes, how you get honored, how you become honorable. What is honor, right? Because unfortunately people do a lot of crazy things out here for honor. They're doing too much just like They've been doing too much to get riches. There's a way, the, there's a right way to get riches and there's a right way to get honor. And God sets one thing above over another, right? So that, and there's tests that you have to go through to gain riches, right? And there's tests you have to go through with God to retain honor. So, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it and um, I, one thing I didn't mention in the last video when I said abide in your labor that's even your work your day-to-day -day labor your work all labor has profit whatever you labor in there will be profit if it's good if it's good labor you understand doing God's work that's a labor to profit but this is about honor how do you retain honor and who gets honor? Because we already know how you get riches. Now, how do we get honor the way God? What do you have? What test do you have to overcome to retain honor? Well, let's get into it. John chapter five, verse 44. How can you believe which receive honor? one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only. So why do you seek honor that comes from other people before you seek the honor that comes from God only? Because honor comes from God. Just like in Psalms, it tells you he will lift you up high. He will honor you. Now, why do people seek honor from people and not honor from God? Because before honor is humility. And we're going to get there. Now Proverbs chapter 11 verse 16. A gracious woman retains honor. So wow. A woman who's gracious. That is a person who retains honor. A gracious woman. And strong men retain riches. So we understand that. So you're a gracious woman. You will retain honor. Because you're gracious. A strong man will retain riches. He doesn't give all his strength on to women. Like Lemuel, Lemuel's mother said to him in the book of Proverbs. Lemuel, give not your strength on to woman. Why do you think she told her son who was a king, don't give her strength to woman? Because he would have been poverty. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 20 verse 3 it is an honor for a man to cease from strife so seizing from strife that's honorable but every food fool will be meddling so a fool will meddle to strife with people an honorable person will cease from strife they know how to pick their battles they know how to walk away they know when to open their mouth and when to close it they know when they're not going to get into nothing with nobody that's honorable the first book of Thessalonians chapter four, chapter four, verse four, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. D do you know how to possess your vessel in sanctification and honor? Are you sleeping with more than one person? That's not honorable. You're not possessing your vessel in sanctification and in honor. And with your body parts, you can become dishonorable. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 21. He that follows after righteousness and and mercy finds life, righteousness and honor. So if you follow after righteousness, you'll find light, find mercy, life, righteousness and honor. So following after righteousness will make you retain honor. Being a gracious woman will make you retain honor. Seizing from strife will make you retain honor. Possessing your vessel in sanctification 
is honorable is is you receive honor abstinence celibacy sleeping with one person at a time you're honoring your vessel the first book of Tim timothy chapter 5 verse 17 let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor if you ru rule well over people you're you are worthy for double honor especially they who labor in the word and doctrine that that you mean you receive now romans chapter 2 verse 10 but glory honor and peace to every man that works good so working good doing well to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. So what? Ro Let me read Romans chapter 2 verse 10 again. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. So working good is honorable. Makes you receive honor. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. What? People that rule well. People that do good. People that follow after righteousness, mercy. Find righteousness and honor. Possessing your vessel in sanctification and honor. Seizing from strife, being a gracious woman. Now, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. So by being humble before your God and fearing God is riches, honor, and life. Now, Proverbs chapter... 4 verse 7 to, f to 8 wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor wisdom will bring you to honor ruling well will bring you to honor S following after righteousness will bring you to honor being gracious will bring you to honor people go about honor the wrong way they go about honor in a dishonorable way but there's a right way to do things and there's a wrong way to do with things so what will wisdom do wisdom is the principal thing exalt her and she shall promote thee she will bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her do you embrace wisdom whilst wisdom will promote you and will bring you to honor when you embrace her Wisdom is the principal thing. With all you're getting out here, like how you say you want to get money, you better get wisdom. You want to get fame, you better get wisdom. You want to get married, you better get wisdom. You want to get that house, you better get wisdom. Because lest the Lord build the house, then it's in vain. Psalms 112 verse 9. He that disperses, he has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. When you disperse and you give to the poor, your horn shall be exalted with honor. Charity to the poor. When you give and not give to be seen. When you give and you're not making a video to show it to the public. When you're given from your heart not for applause of men that's no reward that is not honorable when you give to somebody without nobody knowing and you're not telling nobody about it that is honorable proverbs chapter 8 verse 18 riches and honor are with me yeah riches and honor are with god durable riches and righteousness Proverbs 25 and 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. What makes a king honorable when he searches out a matter, making him a wise king so he can rule justly and righteously? Now, cha John chapter 5 verse 23, that all men should honor the son, even as, thy, as they honor the father. He that honors not the son honors not the father which has sent him now you have to pass the test of humility because it's humility before honor with god the test that you have to pass for riches is poverty what you'll do in poverty 
and what you'll do with your body. The test to pass for, for honor with God is humility. Let me prove this. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. So didn't Christ come and they humiliated him. But he was humble before God and God exalted him. He showed you something that people were going to humiliate you. This is a test that you go for through for your honor. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. <coughs> Amen. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, but before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 12. Before destruction the heart of man is haunty, and before honor is humility. So it's told to you more than once that before honor is humility you have to humble yourself before god and he will exalt thee to honor proverbs chapter 29 verse 23 a man's pride shall bring him low but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit so when you're humble you will you will be up you will be honored god lifts up those who are humble when you're humble you will be honored that's why God always tells you, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. God resists the proud. It's true. When you humble yourself before God, he'll lift you up. He'll rise you up. He'll make you honorable. Now, the first book of Peter, chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Who does this exalting you up to honor? Don't exalt yourself. Those people who exalt themselves, God brings them down because they're prideful and they're arrogant. You had a God has to exalt you. Because it's him who brings up, raises up one and puts down another. It's promotion doesn't come from the east or from the west. But it's God who promotes you. And wisdom promotes you. Humble yourself. Being humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Now, James chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, that he shall lift you up. How can you get lifted up, honored, and exalted up when you humble yourself before your creator? You remove all that pride and ego and that arrogance and that selfishness and a lying tongue because the next video is about liars and false witness the first book of peter chapter 5 verse 5 likewise you younger submit yourselves unto the elder yeah yeah all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for god resists the proud and gives grace to the humble so even being humble you get god gives you grace just for being humble and you know he resists the proud proverbs chapter 16 verse 19 better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud psalms chapter 10 verse 6 verse 17 lord thou hast heard the desire of the humble that will prepare their heart. That will cause thy ear to hear. James chapter 4. So God hears who? He hears the humble people. He hears their prayer. Their prayers are... God listens to the prayer of humble people because they humble themselves before God. James chapter 4 verse 6. But he gives more grace. Wherefore, he said... God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. You're given more grace when you're humble. And God resists you when you're proud. First book of Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 11. And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we have commanded. Because what happens when you abide in your labor? 
There's profit from all labor. When you close your mouth, you're in less problems and trouble. When you're studying your own business and you're minding your own business, God will bless you. Because you're not meddling. Working with your own hands, God will bless the work of your hands. As we have commanded you, as God has commanded you, you need to study to be quiet. Speak. There's a time to speak and there's a time to keep silent. Matthew chapter 23 verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a base. Do you hear why it tells you to humble yourself so God can exalt you? Humble yourself so God could lift you up? Because when you humble yourself, you're exalted. But what happens when people exalt themselves? God abase them. He brings them low. Now let me read Matthew 23 and 12 again. What did Christ tell you? And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. So you see what happens when you're humble? You see what happens when how real honor is gotten? The second book of Corinthians chapter 6 verse 7. By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. Following after righteousness, even doing the work of God, despite some people may try to dishonor you and make evil report on you. But there's go it's actually a good report as saying you're a deceiver, but yet you're true. By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. That is how you retain honor. Colossians chapter 2 verse 23 which things have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh let me read that again which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship and humility and neglecting of the body did not talk about this the people giving up their body doing too much. Not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. They're dishonoring their body. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. What are you doing to your vessel that's dishonorable? Do you purge? Do you, do you sanctify? If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctify, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Are you sleeping around? Is your vessel on, honorable and sanctified? Is it meet for the master's use? Is it prepared to do every good work? Your mouth and your lying, your privy parts and your sleeping. Is your body good to do God's work? The second book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness. Righteousness, you follow righteousness, you retain honor. Following righteousness is another way of retaining honor. Being gracious, ruling well. Now flee ye also youthful, youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Not with anybody, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them 
that call on God, on the Lord, out of a pure heart. Not just anybody. People who call on God out of a pure heart. The first book of Corinthians chapter 12, verse 23. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable upon these which bestow more abundant honor and are uncomely parched, have more abundant comeliness. Now, your body. Are you honorable with your body? Ephesians chapter 5 and 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loves his wife loves himself. If you don't, if a man doesn't honor his body, he don't love himself. If he's, if a woman doesn't sleep with one person at a time, she doesn't love herself. If a man doesn't sleep with one person at a time, he doesn't love himself. He's not honoring his own vessel and his own body. And if he's cheating on his wife, and he's, she's cheating on her husband. They don't love their self. And they don't love they don't love their, their body. How you treat your body, you'll know how people treat their body, you'll know if they love their self. A lot of people have self hate out here and they're in absolute denial. So so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. When a man loves his self, he loves his wife and he loves his body. He protects that body of his. When a woman loves herself, she protects that body of hers. And she loves that husband. She's not cheating. She's not dishonoring her body and neither is he. When he loves himself. When they don't, they do evil. He that loves his wife loves himself. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 29. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it even as the Lord the church. First Corinthians, the first book of Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. Why? Because when you have more than one, you're dishonoring your vessel. You're dishonoring your body. It's not a sanctified vessel. That's why every man have his own wife. Every woman have her own husband. No, not people's husband. Not sneaky link. N no, none of that. You don't love yourself when you do that. And you don't love the people you're sleeping with. You're in lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. And pride of life. You're prideful. The first book of Corinthians chapter 7 verse 12. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Because they're made one flesh. Else were your children unclean but now are they holy. So an unbelieving husband can sanctify his unbelieving wife. Because that's who God created for them to be with forever. And an unbelieving wife can can be sanctified by her husband vice versa because that's who god created you to be with forever one person you're supposed to actually sleep with we haven't done that have we but one person you are made to sleep with like because god took adam took eve out of adam's rib and made him one one person we ain't supposed to have more than one spouse that person you was made for from the beginning. And an unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And an unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Because the husband and wife is who God created you to be. Not the one you chose. That's not going to work. And you're not honoring your vessel. And you're in disobedience before the Lord. That's not honorable sleeping around. It's not honorable to your body, to your soul and its members. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. Wives, submit yourself to your own husband. Not your friend's husband. Not your neighbor's husband. 
not the woman you hate's husband, not sleeping with people's baby fathers and friends and your family members are your friends, man. That No, your own, to each his own, to each his own wife, to each his own husband. You're only so submit to the man that God made you to. And you're only so submit to the woman that God made you to. That's honorable. It says it, marriage is honorable and all. Because it's only supposed to be between those two people. And you dishonor your marriage. And you dishonor your spouse when you're sleeping around. And you dishonor your body and your vessel and your soul. Wives, submit yourself to your own husbands as unto the Lord. Colossians chapter 3 verse 18. Huh. Likewise. Oh, forgive me. Yeah, Colossians chapter 3 verse 18. Wives, submit yourself to your own husbands as, as it is fit in the Lord. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7. Likewise, you husbands, dwell with them. What is God what kind of husbands what does God tell a man who's a husband? Dwell with them according to knowledge. Giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of grace of life. Heirs your inheritance, your hair, your next your legacy, your empire, your generation. That is built with the person God made you for. Dwell with them according to knowledge. Do you have the knowledge to build with your wife? Are you giving honor unto your wife and your marriage? Because marriage is honorable in all, but the and the bed undefiled. Are you defiling your marriage bed? But you're supposed to be together, grace of life. That your prayers be not hindered. Why are men's men's prayers hindered when they're not giving honor to their wives? When they're defiling their marriage bed, so do women. When they're not doing that, when they're doing that, their prayers are hindered. They're out here dishonoring their wife and their husband. Their prayers are hindered. Numbers chapter 22 verse 17 For I will promote thee on, unto very great honor And I will do whatsoever thou says unto me Come, therefore I pray thee, curse me, curse me these people That is what Balaam said to curse the children of Israel So there's some people who ask Witch doctors, wicked people, wicked spiritualists, voodoo priests And you know the bandwagon of sorceress of wickedness people to curse good people and they say we will put you in this job we will give you this money we will i will promote you to honor i will give you a land i will give you a car i will give you a house i will give you money so there's people who are paid to curse people and bewitch people and do the black magic all the wicked works that they do the sitting works that they do to people for honor. So say, I will promote thee. On, so there's wicked ways people get honor. But I'm teaching you the right way to get honor. And I'm teaching you the right way to honor yourself. And how God will exalt you and promote you to honor. But then you have people who go about honor the wrong way. Listen, for I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will do whatsoever thou ask, says unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. People curse people to retain honor. You understand me? That is the wrong way to, to go about honor. Honor, Honoring your marriage is another way to retain honor. Ro Romans chapter 2 verse 7. To them who by patience, continuance, and well-doing seek for glory and honor. So when you're patient and continuing in, in well-doing, you're, you're continuing in well-doing, you seek for glory and honor and immorality and eternal life. John chapter 8 verse 54. 
Emmanuel Christ answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. So you see people who honor themselves, their honor is nothing. It is my father that honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Does a person who takes something, for I will promote thee for honor, to curse somebody, to get honor. Is that real honor? No. That is not real honor. Romans chapter 13 verse 7. Render therefore to all their to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fair to whom fair and honor to whom honor. You honor those who are supposed to be honored. You give tribute to those who tribute is due. You give custom unto those whose custom. You understand me? Honor is earned. The first book of Peter, chapter 2, verse 17. Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. And I'm going to end this video right here, beautiful people of God. I hope you learned something today. And this is how God is very, very angry with the people going about getting riches the wrong way. Going about getting honor the wrong way. And they don't have the knowledge and understanding how to retain riches the right way. And how to retain honor the right way. And the things that they're doing that is letting them dishonor themselves. And that the, the tests that they have to pass before they reach this great honor with God. Which was humility. God tests you in everything. Well, beautiful people, stay blessed, stay prayed up, and take care.